Today's Bible study is titled The Revelation of the Mystery. If you are a student of the Word, have you ever heard of the mystery and the associated dispensation of the grace of God? Although there are many inspired writings by Paul that address this, one of the more direct and thorough is, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, Ward, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Ephesians 3 verses 1 to 6 This is a simple way by which I break this down. For this cause, a direct reference back to Ephesians 2 verses 21 to 22 which notes that the Gentiles are being built into a building. Ref. Body of Christ. Paul the prisoner for Gentiles. Paul was the apostle to the Gentiles beginning on the road to Damascus where he was saved by grace, something new, and began a continued to receive new revelation, previously kept secret from the foundation of the world. Dispensation of the grace of God, given me, Paul, to you, a new revelation from the glorified Christ, given to Paul for Gentiles, and ultimately Jews as well, who previously could only come to God through Israel. By revelation he made known unto me the mystery. Tied up with this new dispensation was the mystery, not a mystery but the mystery, one that is vital for the believer to understand but most often is not, which in other ages was not made known, the mystery was not part of Israel's prophetic revelation and in fact, elsewhere we learn that it was kept secrets a hidden from before the foundations of the world and not revealed, until the risen of glorified Lord Jesus Christ revealed it to Paul. It is now revealed, after being hidden for thousands of years, the mystery, God's secret revelation, was revealed to Paul, who was to reveal it to the Gentiles and others, including his explanation to the twelve Jewish apostles as recorded in Acts 15 Galatians 2, and also to Israel, different from the preaching of the twelve, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, body of Christ, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Gentiles were strangers to God's promises to Israel but now have their own provision, made to Jew and Gentile alike. There is no difference in one body, the body of Christ without any covenant. No longer was their path to God through Israel. In fact that path had been set aside in favor of the mystery dispensation of grace revealed to Paul. This is a lot to consider and perhaps you have never even looked at it in this light. Consider yourself challenged to do so as much that is written in these statements of scripture is not typically considered in a rightly divided fashion. As a believer, you have a responsibility to study and know the mystery for yourself. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.